Tesla's AI Day 2022 event just concluded, and there's a lot to get into. Some things exceeded expectations, others didn't, but overall it's clear that Tesla is making AI a core part of their focus going forward. To Elon Musk, it's what will make this company bigger than most can imagine, so let's get into it. Last year at Tesla's AI Day event, there was a lot talked about. As always, with these events, it's incredibly technical and used as a recruiting effort. So the event started with Tesla's now former head of AI, Andre Karpathy, detailing how their in-vehicle camera data gets processed by their neural network. From a consumer perspective, this was detailing why Tesla Vision with the elimination of radar is the direction Tesla is going in, but it went much deeper than that. Overall, they broke down their plans for how they will make a car autonomous, how they generate training data, how they run it in the car, and how they iterate it quickly. They unveiled their D1 chip, optimized for neural net training, and showed what it looks like for the first time. Ultimately, they are planning to use this chip in sequence to make the fastest AI training computer, and talked about their heavy recruitment efforts for this project. Then came the part most have heard about, the Tesla bot. Tesla started by showing off renders of what their humanoid robot would look like, and then as a joke, had someone in a Tesla bot costume dancing on stage. Clearly, the robot wasn't ready to show for real, but Elon proceeded to unveil the Tesla bot in great detail. Detail. It's 5 foot 8, can carry 45 pounds, weighs 125 pounds, can deadlift 150 pounds, can walk 5 miles per hour, and handle an arm extension lift at 10 pounds. The goal is that it eliminates dangerous, repetitive, boring tasks for humans. They showed how this robot has 40 electromechanical actuators, has a screen on its face for useful info, and uses autopilot cameras and the FSD computer for all the things they talked about throughout the event. All the AI effort they have been putting into their cars will go into this humanoid form. Ultimately, the real question was, with Tesla unveiling so many specs and details for this, is that just a goal or do they actually have something in this form that they are working on? Well, at Tesla's Cyber Rodeo, they had the Tesla bot, also known as Optimus, on display, and throughout the past year, Elon has talked more about it. They pushed the AI Day event by about a month, quote, as we may have an Optimus prototype working by then. So Tesla appeared to have something ready to show. Will it function like a true humanoid robot or just be some very crude prototype? Then when asked, will the Optimus prototype look the same? or at least very similar to the display model at the Giga Texas opening, to this Elon said no. So essentially the specs they unveiled last year are probably already wrong. The invite for Tesla's AI Day event showed updated Tesla bot hands, and then the day before the event they shared this short video on social media. For the first time it appeared to show the functional hands of the Tesla bot, and Elon confirmed this saying, the hands of Optimus, this is not CGI. So clearly we were looking forward to some true form of a functional robot. The Tesla bot will likely take the focus in news, but Tesla's focus is on technical stuff and recruiting to make a project like this happen long term. Elon set these expectations clearly before the event, saying there will be lots of technical details and cool hardware demos. AI slash robotics engineers who understand what problems need to be solved will like what they see. He also added, tweeting the invite, note the event is meant for recruiting AI and robotics engineers, so will be highly technical, as well as advanced chip and supercomputer engineers for next gen training and inference. Sawyer Merritt said, AI Day 2022 is a recruiting event for engineers. Elon has made that pretty clear. It will also be very technical. If AI Day 2021 was any indication, most analysts will walk away from the event confused about what they just saw. And Elon responded, haha, 100%. So our expectations were set. We'd see some form of a Tesla bot and then a lot of deep technical stuff. So what actually happened at the event? Let's get into it. At the event, Elon wasted no time at all. He immediately set expectations, saying that last year they unveiled a dancing robot that was just a person in a suit, and if you look at what they have now, it's going to be much more impressive than that. After a little bit of talk about the potential for AI, he said, should we bring out the robot? And they made sure to specify that this is the first time that they are trying out the robot on stage without backups. So previously, the robot has always had a tether or some system to make sure it wouldn't fail. This is the first time that they were testing it without any of that that safety in front of people in classic Tesla fashion, similar to when they broke the Cybertruck window. This actually went much better than the Cybertruck window though. The Tesla bot walked out on stage and it was walking for the first time. For many people, this was probably very impressive to see, although it's a very crude prototype, clearly. It was walking pretty shaky, but I think it's safe to say that this is a lot more than most people expected. It was only a year ago that they unveiled this concept, and people thought Tesla would be nowhere at this point. They actually have something going right now, and it can actually walk. Interesting to note is that with this prototype that is actually walking, the only part I see that's similar to the original prototype is the head. After it walks around stage a little bit, they showed how it can dance a little bit. 
pretty much as good as Elon can do. And they specified that this is the full self-driving computer on board this robot, and it's doing all the computing for what's going on with it on stage. Elon again reiterated that this is literally the first time it has operated without a tether, so they were working right up to the last minute to get this demo for this event. So that was all they had to show in person for the Tesla bot. For a lot of people, this is maybe nothing, but for a lot of people, this is really big. They got to the point where they're making a functioning walking robot within a year. So that was the full demo of that one that can walk on its own, but they had much more to show. Elon said that the robot can do a lot more than what they showed on stage, but they didn't want it to fall on its face on stage. Definitely understandable. So they showed videos since it was less risky. In the videos, you can see the Tesla bot operating in offices, picking up boxes, and they even showed renders of what the Tesla bot is seeing. It's the autopilot neural net functioning. It's just trained for a robot instead of a car. Then they showed the Tesla bot already operating in a factory. It's picking up small pieces here and there. And they said they're trying to nail down these tasks to actually be functional in the next few months. Currently, this is operating at their Fremont factory already. So that robot that they demoed is the one that can actually do tasks. And that is their rough development platform. They're using semi off the shelf actuators, but they have already gone one step further. They already have another Optimus that they're working on that has Tesla built and designed actuators, control system, battery, and all that stuff. It just wasn't ready to walk yet, and Elon said it should be able to walk in a few weeks, so maybe in a few months with Elon time. So they did actually bring out this new Optimus prototype that is the one that Tesla is actually designing. It couldn't walk, they had to pull it up onto stage, but it was able to wave. One of the big things Elon said they were focused on here is that it can move its fingers independently. The thumb has two degrees of freedom. It can operate tools. And the goal is to make this a useful humanoid robot as quickly as possible. Essentially, they have the same discipline as the car where they're designing this from the ground up for manufacturing. They wanna be able to make this at high volume, low cost, as opposed to making it super, super functional and the most amazing thing ever, but it's incredibly expensive and they can't make very many of them. Elon compared the Tesla bot to robots today saying that robots today are missing the brain that Tesla has here, and they're expensive. Optimus is extremely capable in high volume, and they ultimately want to get to millions of units. He even threw out a price point for the first time, saying that this would cost far less than a Tesla vehicle. Less than $20,000 was his estimate in this event. So those were the demos of what they have to show so far. For myself, I had my expectations set pretty realistically, so this was actually pretty impressive for me. For some people, if they've only been listening to Tesla bot hype, maybe they're not that impressed. But of course, this is a recruitment event, so they are recruiting people for this project by showing it. So Elon talked about how the potential for Optimus is appreciated by few people. The team has been working seven days a week to get this demo and he is super proud of the team. And the goal is to convince the most talented people in the world to bring this project to reality. As for the long-term goals with Optimus, he said that it will have a huge impact and have at least a two order of magnitude increase over the economic impact of full self-driving. But of course they have to be careful along the way because a humanoid robot could go bad quickly. The next presenter came up and talked about the history of the Tesla bot, saying last year they unveiled a concept and they needed a real development and integration platform for real life learning right away. So they developed this program and had it functioning within three months of that event. Now they're working on the latest generation of this with their own Tesla parts. Here they had a breakdown of the latest generation and orange is the actuators and blue is the electrical. The torso already has specs, so it's a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery that they say will last a full day, and it has integrated electronics, so the battery pack has everything it needs right there in the torso. As for the brain of the bot, it has one Tesla SoC, Wi-Fi, LTE, audio, security, and safety. And as we can see, they have already reduced parts here. Last year, they said it was gonna have 40 mechanical actuators. This year, they're saying it has 28 actuators with 11 degrees of freedom. Then they went super in-depth on how all of this actually functions. They talked for quite some time about the knees and all the different problems they have to solve with these actuators, and they often compared it to the powertrain of a car versus how many things are needed in a bot to get a task done. Next, they went in depth on the hands of the Tesla bot and talked about how they are biologically inspired. With six actuators and 11 degrees of freedom, they can carry a 20-pound bag, use tools, and have precision grip for small parts. They then proceeded with vision details, which you might call Tesla vision details, showing what the bot is actually 
actually seeing in its environment with machinery. That's because the first application of this will be at a Tesla factory, where they're already using them and plan to use many more in the future. The most impressive part about this is they showed the evolution of this Tesla bot walking. The first steps were in April of 2022. The pelvis unlock happened in July of 2022. The arm sway was in August of 2022, and the toe off was September of 2022, so just earlier this month. So the next steps are to focus on getting this to be a real use case at their factory and nail it down to apply it in the real world. They said that they are pretty sure they can get this done in the next few years, and all of this was done. All of the progress we saw today was done in barely six to eight months. So again, that's very important to keep in mind here. Even though the progress may not look that impressive, that is six to eight months of work. Looks very promising for the future. Then they moved on to test the full self-driving. For a lot of people, this is the product they might be most interested in, but it was kind of hard to top the whole Tesla bot section. Tesla's head of autopilot, Ashok, took the stage and talked about how in 2021, they had 2,000 customers in the FSD beta. Since then, they've had 35 releases, 281 models shipped, 18,659 pull requests, 75,775 models trained, and a 4.8 million clip data set that got them to 160,000 people in the FSD beta today. They went incredibly in-depth on full self-driving and how they are solving various driving issues with AI. They detailed a few specific cases, showed their process of gathering footage and what goes on from there, showed their video model training and how much GPU they are using, and then talked for a while about lanes and getting FSD to truly understand them with their lane detection network. This was the most technical part of the presentation and definitely the part where it's very impressive to see, but most people are not understanding what is happening here. This is a recruitment effort for people to see, wow, Tesla is really diving deep on AI. I wanna work there. Then came Dojo, and this was the in-depth technical hardware part of the event. There was actually a video posted on Tesla's social media prior to the event that showed their Dojo computer in action. And this is an example of one Dojo cabinet. Overall, the goal of Dojo is to make a much better training computer, the best in the world for competitive cost. They are building both the hardware and software to achieve real-world AI. Last year, they showed their first Dojo training tile, and since then, they've been working very hard to deploy it at scale, hit lots of milestones and unexpected challenges, so they detailed the problems that they have solved since last year. Ultimately, the goal is to get to an exapod, so they showed how tiles can be seamlessly integrated into the system tray. They use their Dojo interface processor, among other things, to make the Dojo cabinet, and then an exapod would be a grouping of Dojo cabinets. Overall, this is a great example of Tesla's vertical integration and how they're able to both be working on intense AI efforts on the software side, while they're also developing the hardware that powers those advances. They went even more in depth on the software side of Dojo and then the event concluded shortly after that. So pretty much this event held up to its expectations. It was very technical and a lot of people won't understand what is going on here. It was a recruitment event, so people who know what's going on will be excited about this stuff. As for the Tesla bot, what are your thoughts? For myself, as I mentioned, I think that it's actually further advanced than I expected it to be, but a lot of people will see this and think it's a joke compared to other bots that we've seen out there. Leave a comment below to let me know your thoughts. As always, I'm very curious to see what the future of the Tesla bot is, especially with all of the products in Tesla's lineup. In the meantime, if you wanna see the latest Tesla news, you can check out that video linked up here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.